Got some silver here. I've got some bar orders that I've got to fulfill. And I want to experiment and make some RFT coins or buttons, if you will. So I got this little tiny mold. We'll see how it pours. It's my first time using it. And it's about two ounces filled to the top, but I want to keep it between one and one and a half ounces if possible. We'll see how that goes. Just turned on my electric furnace. I'll be using this today. I'll be adding some silver in here and I'll bring you guys back in for the pours. I'm not going to do a lot of talking in this video, just a lot of pours again like my last one. And then obviously I'm going to show more in detail the stamping process as well in this video. We'll be back when that heats up and we start pouring.
Well, here you have it. This is how they look coming straight out of the crucible and out of the mold. Obviously, they'll need a little bit of tumbling to get some of that residue off there from the crucible. But we have 17 bars and 17 buttons. And I am going to try stamping the buttons first. The last button I poured is a little bit lopsided because it was the last that was in the crucible other than maybe the last little schmutz that comes out at the end which i stopped short of that so it wouldn't uh mess it up i think i'm going to practice a stamp on this one and after i get it stamped i'll show you what they look like so i've got the first few stamped i'll give you an idea they're not polished yet of course but all i have on them is 29 grams three nines fine silver like on this one gotta remember to flip them the right way I'm not going to be serial numberizing these rounds just to save some stamping. This was that last pour. It didn't come out too, too good. And uh, what are you going to do? But either way, they're my first little buttons. I'm going to get to stamping the rest of the items, which is going to take some while. And I'll probably show a few of the strikes on it just for your guys' uh, I don't know about viewing pleasure, but just so you see what I'm doing. We've got this 55 pound anvil and this three pound sledge. and. It's some work sometimes if the surface is not even, but we'll do the best we can. Well, I got all the buttons done. The only last step now is to tumble them, polish them up a little bit and see how they come out. I will do the bars tomorrow, but let me get these polished up and I'll show you what they look like in my coin cave. And then I'll do the bars as far as stamping and tumbling and give you a final shot of those at the end of the video as well. Well, here's a look at all of the RFT buttons. You know, they came out pretty nice overall. I'm happy with them. Little tiny buttons of silver. This one is 1.6 ounces Troy, 3 nines fine silver. Obviously, I've got work to do on the stamping to make it really, really nice. But at the end of the day, you can read all the stamping. You know what it is, and I'm happy with them. Some of them are a lot smaller. Some of them like this one, 30 grams. And some of them are as big as that one I just picked up, 1.6. The majority of them are between 1.1 and 1.2 troy ounces. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. You can see there's an extra little ding mark on that one from where when I stamped it, the stamp jumped and made contact with the silver, I guess. But we're going to leave it alone for now. Not too worried about it. Things like that happen. Kind of gives it its own unique character. The last one I poured... Oh, here it is. This was the last one I poured. And, uh, yeah, didn't come out the best, but the last ones always come out. Usually the worst, unless you can stop short of the last little bit of pouring from the crucible. Either way, they came out pretty good in my opinion. I'm happy with them. No serial numbers, like I said, on these. I'm just making these as everyday little buttons and rounds. Don't really want to have to stamp the extra numbers on them at all. Anyway, just wanted to show you these. Again, tomorrow I'll stamp the bars and then I'll tumble them and then we'll take a look at them. After I get them stamped, that'll be the next clip that you'll see as far as this video. But I'm done for the night. That was a lot of work and uh, we'll pick up tomorrow with the stamped bars. All right, here's all the bars. Got them all polished up and stamped. We've got uh, 
Pretty good detail on the stamping this time. Looks like we're starting to figure it out. That anvil helped a lot. This is bar number 81. 2.4 ounces Troy, three nines fine silver. Most of these bars are already spoken for. I think I have four or five, maybe six available. Obviously, if you guys have any interest, you'll just want to email me. Uh, email will be found down below in the video description or it's robfinestreasure55 at gmail.com. Most of the numbers are already spoken for, like I said, but this is bars 70 through 87, and I think bar 74 is not in here because I'd already had poured that. If you recall, these first three bars were actually re-pours from last video where I had some misstamps, but no misstamps this time. I mean, we had some bars that may have not had the perfect stamp, like this one right here. The seven's a little crooked, but you know what? That happens, and it's legible. We'll keep it. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this silver bar and silver button pouring video. You'll take a look here. I went ahead and just put these bad boys in a Morgan dollar roll just to keep them together so I don't have them all just jumping around like you can see they want to do. But either way, if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy stacking, happy hunting, and thanks for watching.